Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today I have Chantel from Growing Up Without Borders with me today, as you all know. If you haven't seen other videos that we've done, I will link them above and you will want to check out our playlist. You can link them above. Oh, I guess yeah. you can. Yeah, you can link them above. <laughs> and so, yeah, so today we're going to talk about Christmas around the world. What is Christmas like in different countries? So if you don't know, Chantel has a family of five that have traveled to a hundred or more countries and they have spent lots of Christmases around the world. Now, I have not. I've been, to, I've been in New Zealand for six years, so I can speak to the New Zealand Christmas and the U.S. Christmas. And I think I've been in Mexico for Christmas. Ooh. So I can touch on that a little bit. But yeah, so we're just going to talk about what is Christmas like around the world, different foods, different traditions, things that we thought were, oh, that's interesting to do at Christmas. Uh, so you're not going to want to miss this, so stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with a little bit of the differences between New Zealand Christmas and the US Christmas. So there is, I would say it's almost, I feel like it's completely different. <laughs> I think partly it's because I'm from the Midwest, so I'm used to a cold Christmas, whereas New Zealand is, they're hitting their summer. And so you have some, Christmas on the beach, barbecue on the beach, this is normal foods. They do have like family roasts as well, which would be, they generally will have turkey, whereas the US will have ham because we've had turkey at Thanksgiving. Um, and so that's a little bit different, but in general, like, do you it think just- also because like, it's their, you gotta understand we're on a different, like- Yeah. Summer versus winter. So they have their Christmas, I mean, their summer holiday, which is like the school holidays. So right. not only are they in the Christmas kind of spirit, but they're also on their summer break. Yeah, so it's totally different, whereas like the school year ends, you know, everybody takes off, lots of businesses close down, and so yeah, it's kind of the... It'd the, be like, imagine in the summertime having Christmas back yeah. in the same And you're like so launching like, into, yeah, yeah, Christmas launches you into the summer, summer break. Yeah. And so yeah, it's so totally different. So I think different. that switches things, because everyone's on vacation. This is their yes. own like cottage For a mode. long time, yeah. you know, not just your two weeks off at Christmas. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, and that's, that's what a really good point. That's why you see barbecues and beaches and... It's more of like this beach theme versus, yeah. not necessarily beach theme, but yeah, summer summer holiday theme, yeah. Christmas. Yeah, so it's it's different in that way. Um, some of the different foods that they have, and I know I, I think I've mentioned it in a recent video, is their Christmas mince pies, which is just minced Ooh. up fruit, by the way, not meat. Um, oh, what is it called? <laughs> Christmas mince pies. You've not had that? They're like all over the food store. Oh, I didn't know what they're called. Oh. I've seen them. You've seen them, okay. Don't eat them in the store just get them homemade. They're okay. amazing homemade. Oh, I've never I'm going to have to get you one. Okay. Cool. Um, and they have fruit cakes everywhere here. Mm -hmm. So some, somebody's eating them. I mean, I've talked to a lot of uh, my followers on TikTok and they were like, well, we don't eat that. I'm like, well, someone is because it's everywhere. Yeah. Um, you know, and like Christmas, I think it's Christmas pudding. Yeah. I've actually, I've, I think I had it in a restaurant, but I haven't really had it. Like I know sometimes you can light it on fire. Have you ever seen Ooh, that? No. No, like it's Christmas pudding. I would love to have that. If you guys make Christmas pudding, comment below, send me a recipe, give me something, because I really want to try that this year. I was going to I was gonna say, I'm trying to think, um, I'm just looking something up, because I spent Christmas in Spain one year, and mm. it was quite different because they had this cake, and I, I feel like it's like the king's cake, because they don't really celebrate Christmas at Christmas like we do. So their Christmas what? is in January on the 6th, and it's King's Day, and they do like oh. these parades, and it's really strange because they'll have like people that are totally made up with like black makeup and the parades and they do like a whole thing. And this is in Spain. Yeah. Oh. And then the presents come on the 6th oh. of January. Oh, okay. So it's on King's Day, not on like Christmas Day, right? So that was oh, that really is different. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very different. So oh, yeah, because even in New Zealand. Cakes, like, the cake, like the cake is like a cake. And then is it good? Yeah, but it's just different. Like, it, there's something in it. I can't remember if it's like a ring or what what you get, and then that brings you luck, or I don't even remember. So if you're from Spain, like comment <laughs> down below about what it meant. I was just like, oh, it's just like, yeah, it's totally different. Yeah. So I think that, um, yeah, the yeah, it's totally different. Um, yeah, they have like Christmas crackers here, which are like these things that explode. I don't know. I don't really know when people open them. I think that they open them around the table, but because I always see them at each place setting in pictures. But and is that from the UK? I think it's from the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they have different, 
yeah, different things here, but it is a kickoff to summer. And so it's just a totally different feel. It feels great when you're from a cold destination to then come to a warm destination. It feels great um, for Christmas, but you know, now that I've been here and I've been you know, not able to go home. I really would love a cold well, Christmas. I think the year, biggest difference though is you could have, you can have your Christmas in a warm climate, but because it's not fully commercialized, it probably doesn't feel like home. No. And also it's because we're in the summer, it doesn't get dark till 10. Mm -hmm. And so your Christmas lights and your Christmas tree, you know, you don't even see them because it's still light out. So that's, it's not that cozy yeah. feeling people that don't, you get. People don't, decorate the homes like they do no and why would you yeah because it's you can't even see the lights until like 10 o'clock at night yeah. so yeah, yeah. so I mean, it's definitely not the same no it's no. not overly commercialized in new zealand no. either um but it's good i mean everybody i think celebrates it it's it's definitely a holiday that's celebrated but it's not the same and then sometimes you know everybody has their own traditions i've heard of a lot of different traditions i've been to a lot of people's traditions and yeah it's really cool uh, here in New Zealand, but it's also nice. Like our family has been able to create our own traditions because we don't really have family here. And so mm -hmm. that's been nice. Yeah. Um, I think Christmas is like whatever you grew up doing when you're young, you kind of keep on those traditions yeah. and then you try and replicate that wherever you are. Yeah. Cause where, what, you what you experience when you're younger is the Christmas you prefer. Probably. That's generally yeah. the case. Yeah. Because that's what you, that's where all the fond memories are. So, <laughs> so what about your kids then if they're growing up? with a memory of the U.S. and then they're celebrating it here. That's a really good question because two of mine are older, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then younger ones. So like my youngest has very little Christmases in the U.S. But right now my kids all want to go to the U.S. and have a cold proper, Christmas. Proper yeah, cold with Christmas. the snow, they do. And we would have if we could, but we're a little bit trapped. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. I'm thankful to be here, but good. yeah, it's, it would be nice to go home for Christmas. Yeah. So let's talk about Christmas yeah. in Europe because mm. in Europe, and this is very different than the U S and very different than New Zealand is all the Christmas markets that are everywhere. Like, I know I've heard about Christmas markets and I've never wow. been and I'm dying. They're Tell amazing. me about it. So you, okay. So like do you buy your Christmas presents there? Yep. Yeah, you can. So okay. they always have these kind of like these little Christmassy huts that are usually made out of wood and they're all decorated and it's all pretty. And of course, in most of the places, I mean, you could be there in Spain, they might right. have it, but the, the, the good ones, like whether it's Zagreb, Croatia or, you know, Strasbourg in France, it's cold. And, and then they do these amazing light shows. So like the, the light shows, light shows, oh. like you wouldn't believe they do like whole buildings. They come to life. You've never seen anything like it. It is like the most spectacular thing. Is it only like one night of the year that this no, no, happens? No, 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 no. It starts okay. in like November. It goes all the way to the 24th. Every day. Every, <gasps> every day. day every there's day there's something? I thought it was like no, one day or no, a weekend. No, 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 no. They, they set up camp for like oh. a month and a half. Usually a good like yeah a long time um there's always like this warm christmas wine that's like a warm mold wine. wine with like spices yeah in the it. mold wine yeah, yeah, yeah. i love and mold you wine. go around and you visit and there's music and food stands and like what? oh you you haven't experienced a proper christmas unless you've been to the christmas markets in europe i swear it's amazing oh my gosh i want to do it's that so, so much bad. fun are they happening 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 okay, because so, of covid well or? austria canceled them germany <gasps> believe it canceled switzerland still has the uh, montreux noel which is a big one in zurich just launched another one so switzerland's still open but yeah a lot of them in europe have canceled oh um but then even so yeah i mean um, our hearts go out to the europeans you're gonna try it, have it a new way this year. Well, they've been going on for thousands of years. So yeah. Next year. Next year. Next year. It's all good. Good attitude. Ah, uh, like but yeah. So the, for me, like that's amazing. Um, the food is just phenomenal because you get so. Like, is there foods. a typical food that you eat at Christmas in Europe? Well, I mean, I'm sure country, it depends right? on the country, but right? You, but right. you do have like, uh, well, yeah, it depends on the country, but. Like if you're in the German speaking area, you'll have like these pretzel things and you get like warm, you know, just everything. And yeah, just everything. It's just amazing. Oh you, my you guys have to come experience it. With Is there like a dessert that they always make? Mm -hmm. uh, well, there's all the Christmas cookies and they're very different. And so what are the Christmas cookies? Because I've had some conversations with people and okay, yeah. I'm, I'm giving you a picture. Here it is. I'm going to put it up. Um, they're usually like, mm. some of them are harder, like more dense. 
Okay. Oh my gosh, and they're so good. We need to make some. Are they soft? No. No. They're hard and dense. I'm sorry, that doesn't Crunchy. sound good. Oh, they're like the best. Like they are so good. Some are soft. Well, you have to like... have it with something hot then. No, not necessarily. Really? Yeah. Oh, Come no. on, girl. Oh, are you this? kidding me? I'm a soft cookie person. No, I'm gonna be missing them. I'm gonna Google. Okay, these Swiss Christmas cookies, to be honest, are some of the best. And the German really? ones. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. And then there's like chocolate stands. Like, like they could go all out. Like there's a chocolate like, stand where they just have the, chocolate. Yeah, and sometimes they'll let you sample a little bit, and it's just amazing. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do they have any weird like Christmas tree things? Like in the U.S., there's like find the pickle. Okay, let me tell you one weird thing, and um, this is really weird. I've never personally experienced it myself. <laughs> thank God, because I think it'd be traumatizing. There's this place in Switzerland called Lutzern. And they have this like St. Nick kind of celebration and they walk out on the street and they have a parade and then all the lights go out and they're wearing these white things. So to me, it looks like the KKK. I mean, this is like weird, oh but it's my not. Gosh. And then they have cowbells and whips. And the thing is that all the lights go off and everybody whips. stands in and they try not to get whipped. It's like the weirdest thing. I have no idea what it is. We're going to have to search it. If you're from Switzerland and you're watching, please enlighten us because this makes no sense at all. And it's like there's only this one area. What? Yes. With whips and cowbells. <laughs> and well, there's a new Christmas tradition. Okay, so like every area is very different. There's got to be reason see. behind that. There, That's it's so Saint Nick. interesting. It's something to do with Saint oh, Nick. Saint you know, Nick. like maybe okay. he went around and the ones that were whipped were the bad ones. I have no idea. I'm just making this up. I, mean, I do not know. <laughs> So good. It's so weird. Okay, and then um, let's see where else. Yeah. Okay. So about. we're in Europe. Do we have yeah. anything to say? Yeah. Um, okay. So have you been to like Latin America yeah, or South yeah, America? Yeah. Okay. okay so um, let's see. Well, I was in Central America for one Christmas, and this was really interesting too because they do go all out in a sense. Like they have percussions and a bit of a parade, and oh, that's cool. they do like the Christmas tree lighting by the, the church. And we were in like a small community and it was pretty loud music. Like mm. they're pumping music out of speakers, like so loud that you're like too loud, you know, for your ears, yeah, you know? Too loud, but right. that's the way they like it. And um, yeah, dancing and it was Did really cool like- outfits? Was it like um, cool clothes? really oh, i mean okay. i'm sure in some areas they might but again it was so different like our our christmas there consisted of going to the beach surfing and then going out for dinner it wasn't really like traditional christmas but they right, did so have it's warm so yeah yeah, warm. yeah. yeah. and uh, of course like it's not as i don't think any country is as commercialized as maybe the u.s i guess europe's kind of catching up mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. surprisingly enough like we did a christmas in the middle east and um that was a surprise for me because I, and it's I'm a bit naive and silly to think but I just didn't know that they celebrated Christmas like yes they do in the I United wouldn't States. think that they celebrated Christmas yeah, but it's a big celebration they have like Christmas trees and Santa at the shopping mall and I was like oh this is really cool like, oh really yeah oh. so you can go visit Santa you know for the little kids and it was like very so where much, in the Middle East were you um well we were in Dubai and then we did oh, a okay. cruise throughout so we kind of experienced what it oh, was like okay. yeah and I guess it's like you know, we were in a shopping mall, so maybe it was like commercialized in a hmm. sense, and there's a lot of international people, so that could be why. So I don't oh, know. Oh, that could be there. It could be catering why. to the audience. Yeah, and maybe. that's what's hard is like traveling and experiencing Christmas is different than living somewhere. Yeah. We know that. So yeah. this is just our experience. Yeah, but so I was still surprised to see it commercialized like yeah. it was. You know, mm. everything decked out for Christmas. And oh, wow. That's I guess interesting. All those... So what was it like on the cruise ship? Whoa. I'm just assuming an enormous amount of food. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> so they did a midnight buffet, oh. which is really cool. So I grew up... Who the heck wants to eat at midnight? Um, On a cruise van? That's yeah, all you do, right? Really Before you go to sleeping. bed, you always go have dinner. But, <laughs> I know, it's true. That's why you pack on the way. But, uh, yeah. yeah, they had, like, every kind of cake, and it just went on and on and on. Like, it's just beautiful decorations. And oh. this one cake was so pretty, it said, Happy Birthday, Jesus. And I was like, what? Like, it was just, like, all decked out and all beautiful and wow. just went on and on Did and on. Did they have, like, seafood? Like, they have everything. every type of food? Everything. You can like, I could get a taco bar on there as well? Probably. Mm. Everything. Sounds good. Yeah, Mexican all the time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But you know so what's interesting good. is, like, so in your culture... Did you guys, because like if you're Catholic, there's like the midnight mass, The right? midnight mass, yes, yes. But you didn't my grow up Catholic. No, my you... grandmother, and we were always at my grandmother's for Christmas, oh, so, yeah, so yeah, midnight so you, mass. Yeah. It was normally 11. They were a little nice to us. And did you eat afterwards too? No. Oh, okay. I did that. Do you, so you ate before and then you went to midnight mass? We, um, on Christmas, oh, we 
actually mostly was this on Christmas Eve because we it would have been Eve it would have been um, Christmas Eve yeah so we always did our Christmases on Christmas Eve and so then yeah some of us some people would go to mass with grandma and when do presents get opened for they so Christmas so they're open on Christmas Eve and then mass and then Santa's presents the next morning to the kids oh, okay yeah okay that's what happened yeah that's kind of sort of how I grew yeah. up as well so it's yeah great. it's like you said like it's always what you were used to growing up and then that's kind of what and is that what you and do now yeah. do you do christmas presents we do we we've continued the christmas eve tradition yeah. and interesting because right? yeah. a lot of americans open the presents on christmas on day, christmas day yeah we we're not the normal as well. yeah our family okay. yeah so that's not normal but we do Christmas stockings in the morning of yeah, Christmas. Yeah, we so do the like, same thing. Do you really? Yes. Okay, guys, we have just discovered that we are so similar. That's hilarious. <laughs> in so many and ways. And I was saying, like, Christmas for me, like, a typical Christmas, because I mean, grew up with, like, you know, uh, kind of American Canadian parents. They were like French Canadian and Swiss. So we oh, would do, like, fondue at Christmas and stuff. And she was like, I would love a fondue at Christmas. Like, it's my dream meal. <laughs> It was so funny. If I were to pick a restaurant that I would want to go to at any point, it would be fondue. Yeah. Cheese fondue followed by chocolate fondue every time. Mm. Skip the meat. I don't care. Just give me the cheese and the chocolate. Yes, that sounds good. Oh my gosh, girl. Is there <laughs> one fondue in New Zealand? That's the question. Oh, I haven't found a real fondue. I'm sure there is. I just don't know. It always takes a while to figure it out. We need someone from Switzerland to open up a Swiss fondue yes. place. Please. I'm begging you. And if not, when we retire here, that's what I'll do. Yes. In Queens You've County. heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, that's well, that's idea. cool. That was a good summary of Christmas yeah, around the world. I'm trying to think if there's, like, if there's another anything place else elsewhere. Yeah. Um, well, okay, well, Florida is easy because for me it was yeah. all so beautiful. And Christmas caroler, caroler, carolers, carolers yeah. everywhere. Did you grow up Christmas caroling? Yeah, yeah, always Christmas caroling. We would go, we would yeah. have them, yeah. it was great. You go and you go singing door to door. So like what you see in the movies actually happens. Yeah, actually happens, And yeah. in Canada, we used to go on a little like horse drawn little buggy thing and we would oh. all get off and then we would go sing and then go to the next house. Oh, I it love was that. so cool. And our so girls, cool. my girls have never like been Christmas caroling. I'm like, oh, that's sad. Really? Yeah, they've never done that. Well, I guess probably my youngest probably hasn't either. Oh man, that's weird. You know We're doing I mean? that this year then. Yeah, I know. We should do that. Did they so, do that in New Zealand? I don't, I don't know, know that we I've should, seen We that. should go sing to someone's house. Imagine? <laughs> yeah, we'll videotape it we live We might show you. up at your door. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out when that doorbell rings. It's not even dark out, but we're going to sing to you. <laughs> Our hot go goes. And Chloe can play the ukulele. Yes, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, that's crazy. But if so. you guys have differences that are like, you yes, know, comment stuff, below. Comment Tell us. Let us know. So, two things I want you to comment below share your unique traditions. Yeah. Then, if you are somebody that lives in a different country, what traditions have you brought that you continue to do? from you know the way you grew up or the way that your family does it that you've brought with you so like people always ask me one of the questions is did you bring ornaments with you and absolutely because your kids make all these unique ornaments even though they're not great but <laughs> they have like their their memories Usually of like each year at school <laughs> right and so of course you're bringing those like those are for sure like yeah. i don't recommend that you need to even bring a whole lot if you move but those you're bringing yeah. because it's your Christmas tree and it's, you know, it doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to be represent of the years and yeah, all the unique things. So, um, yeah. And then just kind of, yeah, I would just really like to know, like, what are the unique things that you do or things that you've brought and continue to do from maybe your childhood or if you've moved. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the episode this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and New Year's this year, wherever you are in the world. I know the world is not the same as it has been in the past, but um, we're grateful for where we're at and having the family that we have close by. But see you next week. See ya.